Queens Highway, Bonaire. It may be one of the most photographed places in the world. We are heading north to find the cliff at Rappel. Rappel is a 65-foot sheer wall descending into the Caribbean Sea. Back in 1970, this site had no mooring and anchors were not allowed. An engine failure could result in your getting pounded into the sheer wall. The high cliff above prevented shore diving, or so it was thought. Bruce Bowker, a fearless Bonaire diving legend, decided he was going to be the first to dive the site. With the help of Stan Godowski, a mountaineer and diver from New Jersey, Bruce learned to rappel down small cliffs on Bonaire, eventually learning to do it in dive gear. He picked out a spot on the cliff and rappelled down. What he was not prepared for was the incredible beauty that awaited him. Hey guys, this is Rich. I'm at the Rappel dive site in Bonaire. Actually at the cliff overlooking the dive site. This is where Bruce Bowker made his historic rappel down into the Caribbean Sea with scuba gear on. Um, we're going to visit this site during the day and at night and you'll get to see how spectacular it is. And uh, it's amazing what you can find when you go out and you take a little bit of risk uh, when you go out and diving. Okay, you got to be safe, but you you got to be adventurers. You got to be explorers. Uh, and Bruce Pauker personified that. He was absolutely fearless. Um, this site is absolutely beautiful. You can see uh, Ladanya's Leap out in the distance, which is that little farthest jutting out of the of the uh, of the cliffs over there. Uh, you can see the Bopec storage facility, and down below, you can see the Rappel dive site. We're going to take it a little bit easier. We're going to come out here and go with the honeybee. I hope you have a good time. Let's go diving. <laughs> This is the story the of two divers Sometimes who left the corporate the world and moved to Bonaire to live a diver's life by the sea. Many only dream about this life. Our hope is to inspire you through our experiences and stories so that you can live the dream too. This is a diver's life. The water and sky, reflection in my eye, and it's true. So true that my life, that my life is a she shy. Given how close the mooring is to the wall, mooring can be tricky. Many boats can't get in here and the site must be avoided in a wind reversal. We sit in about 10 to 12 meters of water above a beautiful plateau rich in life, and in particular, coral. The Rappel Plateau. This coral garden forms a bowl about 15 to 21 meters wide before dropping off into hundreds of feet of water. The sea has gradually carved an indentation in the wall. A sea fan driven by the gradual surge. Today, these blue tang will take us on a tour of the rim. Blue tang reach up to 39 centimeters, and when mature can change colors between pale white to black. In adults, their color is usually deep blue and occasionally purple. Juveniles are yellow. They are herbivores. They are called surgeon fish because of the sharp caudal spines.
They will often stop at a coral head to feed, causing a traffic jam, as everyone in the school stops to feed too. Trumpet fish like to hide behind them so they can attack unwary predators. I look down and the floor seems to move as small fish swim amongst the dense coral. Let's head out over the wall. The remnants of bleaching of the deeper plate corals due to ocean warming is apparent. Fortunately, the water temperature has dropped to a cool 26 Celsius and the reef is recovering. Swimming back up, we are greeted by this beautiful coral head. In the distance is the rappel mooring block. On the wall we find this beautiful rope sponge. Two large horse-eyed jack. A school of bogas dart across in the distance. A barracuda. There goes those blue tang an enormous sea plume. Our first lionfish. Doreen attacks, saving a lot of small reef fish. A queen angelfish and a blue chromis. A mature spotted drum. Smallmouth grunt. A green turtle. The coral ridge plateau between rappel and bloodlet dive sites is more shallow. We head back north to rappel. Another school of blue tang. Here, heading back towards Rappel, the reef is only five meters deep. The coral garden between Bloodlet and Rappel is stunning. A tour is in order. There is seldom any current here and you really don't have to go below 13 meters or 45 feet. This allows for a lot of bottom time. In past years, this area has been a favorite for sleeping nurse sharks. There are a lot of places to take a nap. I recall the first time we dove this area with the carabin. We were mesmerized. Later on in dive master training, I was lucky enough to lead a dive here. Being able to share this place with you is a real joy.
We've reached the rappel mooring block. This beautiful rock hind grouper was never phased by her presence. A young tiger grouper. Time to visit rappel at night. The rappel cliff, a half hour before sunset. There is something magical about it. The sun lights up the whole cliff, which stands in stark contrast to the deep blue Caribbean Sea. The challenge here is to line up the boat behind the mooring as the waves come toward you, helping you keep in a straight line. The bigger the boat, the less room to maneuver. Time for Doreen to describe what I can't see over the bow. It is a team effort. You're about a boat length away. These new mooring loops are tiny but sturdy. We have to wet the line so that our line goes through. You're in. Sunset is almost here. Let the adventure begin. Our lights illuminate brown chromis on the wall. Getting the lights right is a challenge. Too much light and the fish scatter, or you can do harm to the fish's eyes. Getting closer, the lights illuminate a myriad of colors. Some people would describe this as spooky. This bicolored damselfish does not seem to mind. A Caribbean sharp nosed puffer. Can you see it? These barred hamlet were not concerned about us. This reef is rich in coral. This big guy is crafty. A solitary blue tang.
This young balloon fish ducks for cover. This Caribbean lobster is out on the hunt. Magically, he has gotten the lionfish. Some amazing pillar coral. The polyps extend to collect food. This spotted drum loves this sea fan. We lost Bruce Bowker due to an unfortunate accident. Rappel is a reminder of the great man he was and what he did for all of us, including returning Klein Bonaire to the Bonaire people. I think of him every time I dive this site. The honeybee down light signals the end of the dive. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and hit the subscribe button and the bell. It goes a long way to supporting this channel and helps you to know when new content is released. Thank you for watching.